plotting your position, how to plot your position on the chart from a GPS position. You will need your dividers. So with your course, you should have your one handy dividers. You squeeze in the top to make it bigger, squeeze in the bottom to make it smaller. If you've got the RWA dividers for the ENS course, you will just twist in the middle and it will open it and it will close it. You will have a plotter. This is a Breton plotter, uh, an oblong piece of plastic with a big arrow at one end and a rotational disc in the middle with the uh, between zero and 360 degrees and small arrows in the middle. And we'll talk about this in a minute. So we need to plot a position by latitude and longitude. We'll get our latitude and longitude from our GPS set and we want to plot that on a chart to see where we are. If we look at RWA chart three, if you get it out, lay it out and it's full on the table, you'll see in the middle here, it says 46 degrees north. That's 46 degrees north of the equator. And at the top here, it says six degrees west. That's six degrees west from the prime meridian or Greenwich meridian. So the question we want is what chart symbol is out of the position 46 degrees 23 decimal 35 north and 006 degrees 23 decimal 4 minutes west. So we know it's north of 46 degrees and west of 6 degrees. So if we look at our chart, we know it's north of the 46 degrees and we know it's west of the 6 degrees. So we know it's going to be in this part of the chart. So what I suggest you do is fold the chart 3 in half and have a look at the top left hand corner. And when we look at it, we'll see that the scale on the side, the latitude scale will be 46 degrees, 10, 20 and so on, 6 degrees, 10, 20 and so on. So if we look at the top left hand corner, here we go, top left hand corner, we can see the chart. We know that everything above here is 46 degrees. So we look at 46 degrees, 23, so we count out from here. So it'll be 20, 21, 22, 23 here, decimal 35. And here it is, 23.2.3 and halfway again, 0.35. Now what I want you to do now is just put a small pencil mark on here. And from your small pencil mark, get your plotter and put your plotter 90 degrees to the side of the chart and draw a line here that's 90 degrees from your small pencil mark. The tip is to stand up and look straight down at the plotter. Spend a bit of time and effort here to make sure that your plotter is 90 degrees. So this line here is 90 degrees the side of the chart. You want to get into the habit of doing this properly because a lot of mistakes later on is because this line tends to end up wibbly wobbly because we're not careful. We go to the top of the chart, six degrees we said was over here, counted across six degrees, 22, 23, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Mark off on here, draw a line straight down. And where they meet will be our position. So the position of 46 degrees, 23 decimal 35 north and 006 degrees, 23 decimal 4 west is the drilling platform Alpha Juliet Delta on the top left hand corner of your chart. There it is, plotting your position by latitude and longitude. We can also plot our position by distance and bearing. So if we're given a distance and a bearing we can work out our position and the question now is what feature is 7.4 miles at a bearing of 232 degrees from Point Victoria Light so first of all we need to find out where Point Victoria Light is and here it is on the chart the position of a light on a lighthouse is in the dot in the middle of the star so here's Point Victoria Light dot star we know it's a light because it's got a little purple or magenta teardrop to it but the position is right in the middle of the star there 232 so 
I'll always say this, we need to take a step back, look at the big view, then go forward and look at the detail. Where is 232? Sometimes it's helpful to draw a compass rose like this. So we've got north, east, south, west. 232 is over here. So we know 232 is going to be somewhere in this direction. So our line at the end needs to be in this direction. This may sound over simple to you, but it's really easy to put the plotter upside down, put the arrows in the wrong direction. We can quite happily zoom off in this direction. And I have seen that happen in a Yacht Master exam. So think of the big picture in your head first. And then when you finish, does that match up with the big picture? If it doesn't, you've probably got the plotter upside down or the arrows in the wrong direction. There we go. Pointing in this direction, what we do first of all is lift up the plotter, have a look at it, put 232 here in this circle, put it on the chart, put the edge of the chart on the lighthouse, and big arrow goes in the direction of 232, little arrow goes to the top of the chart. So put it on, slide your plotter up and down, twist it round until these arrows here match up with the either the vertical line on the chart or a horizontal line on the chart. You may need to move it around a little bit. It's sometimes easier to get this middle disc over where the C is so you can see where the arrows are and then stand up, look straight down. Make sure your pencil is on the center of the lighthouse and then draw the line down here. Okay, so we have the disc lining up with the vertical line or the horizontal line little arrows going to the top of the chart to north big arrow in the direction you're going then we need to measure 7.4 miles we always measure from the side of the chart so measuring 7.5 miles at the edge count seven and then 0.4 at the end and then take it with your plotter the lighthouse measure 7.4 and that'll be our position. You can either leave the plotter on there or you can draw the line and measure from the line. 